whether it has bacon in the headline. Now, um, so there are, there are Reddit memes, which are, a lot of them are just appropriated from places like 4chan, but there are, there are internet memes, let's say more broadly, that you can touch upon that it can help. Uh, and I know, I'm sure some Redditor has created a Reddit headline generator that may actually statistically take into account the most popular words in popular Reddit headlines, but th there are plenty of jokes that one can make about that. Uh, but I think the most important thing, and this goes back to actually being a Redditor when you're trying to advertise to the site or promote to the site, is to actually craft stuff that is timely. Um, so whether you're submitting a link or whether you're creating an ad, it really helps to actually know the community. And if you can make a reference to a top comment from a day earlier, or a top story from a week earlier, or a meme from three months ago, you're going to go a lot further with that headline. Uh, there, are, there are cheesier things you can do, like <laughs> starting every headline with, hey, Reddit, so it feels a little bit more personal. But uh, that gets, uh, that, that's not a guaranteed uh, play. Most, 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 most importantly, though, you can just find great content. That's number one. Crappy content will not do well on Reddit. <laughs> Find great content and give it an appropriate headline uh, that, is, that is kind of, that is human and that is hopefully tailored to the Reddit community you're submitting it to. Uh, and then eh, if you really want to hustle, probably submit around mm, 10, 11, 12. You want to get it before noon Eastern uh, because our traffic looks like you'd expect it. Uh, where it grows throughout the workday and then tapers off as people get ready or start leaving to go to work. So around lunch is Reddit's peak traffic time. FYI, I think the highest traffic days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I feel like it kind of tapers off towards the end of the week and then into the weekend. Well, fortunately, I haven't seen many of them. Um, I've seen some of them, but I, I actually have plausible deniability here because I do very, very little in the way of anti-cheating. Um, the guys have, you know, although Reddit is open source, we've black boxed uh, most of the anti cheating stuff. And what's nice, what's nice for us is a lot of, I mean, there have been cheaters since fairly early on. And that was great validation. When we had people willing to cheat Reddit, we knew it was important enough to merit cheating. But now it's obviously gone on to become more of a nuisance. And it's something we take very, very, very seriously. Uh, and fortunately, most cheaters are fairly dumb in the way that they do it. So we developed pretty effective, fairly simple systems for dealing with those. But then there are the other slightly trickier ones where we have to take into account the fact that all Redditors are equal. And I'm not going to get all Orwell on you. It's not that some are more equal than others. It's that some are the proverbial drunk pushed in the voting machine told to pull a lever. And I think we can all agree that in a fair and free election, that vote does not seem equal to someone's vote who is doing it deliberately, who's not, let's say, being paid to go into a booth and pull a lever for Johnson, whomever. Uh, and what's nice is on the internet, you, one actually has a fairly good idea of who is, so to speak, the drunk being bribed to vote or pull on a certain lever. And we really want, we're very cognizant of the very efficient, very large scale systems to try to cheat sites like Reddit, because it's a very valuable thing to do. People make their livings trying to do it. And, and we take great pride in knowing that even just mostly as a byproduct of Steve's hotness algorithm, it's, it's a difficult challenge on Reddit. And we want to make it all the harder because we don't want someone who's genuinely voting for genuinely good content to be displaced by someone else who is the, again, the, the drunk in the voting booth being paid to pull a lever. So, uh, so that's, that's one of the big challenges that we deal with. But it's, it is like a cold war in terms of <laughs> arming up back and forth uh, because there's always some new trick that we pull in that eventually gets figured out and we have to escalate and so far and so on and so forth. Hopefully it won't result in nuclear annihilation. So that, so karma is obviously something we stole from Hinduism. Well, okay, we slash dot, we appropriated it from slash dot, which presumably appropriated it from, I guess, Hinduism. Uh, that said, you know, we don't make any guarantees about you achieving nirvana no matter what your karma score is. Sorry don't have that kind of power. Uh, early on, it was absolutely crucial for stimulating users to submit. And in particular, getting those power users engaged with the site and checking up regularly on the stats page, which is currently not up anymore, but uh, to see where they ranked and to see where they had fallen and to see where they're going, because that was a huge motivation source. And, and I think we all seek validation in some way, shape, or form. And for those of us who played video games, uh, Steve and me, 
uh, included, it seemed like a really obvious way, a leaderboard. I mean, this was something in every arcade console since day zero, uh, at least as far as I know. And having that kind of leaderboard, that kind of karma measuring contest, meant, especially early on, a new user could come on the site, immediately get how it worked, and then have something to like to have something to vie for, have something to work toward. And it was really, really helpful. Uh, and, and one of the ways that illustrated that was we would know the site was down or the stats page was down or even maybe not calculating stuff as quickly as it should because we'd get emails from frantic power users who would say, my score hasn't updated in a day, what's wrong? Or the stats page is down, what's wrong? And that was a fantastic sign because it meant, okay, you know, we're already relying on our users to do all of the real work at the site let us find some way to reward them since we're not actually like, we're not, we're not paying them. Let's find some way to reward them through that positive reinforcement of an increasing score. Uh, and I think that it has changed a lot since the site has grown because it's now, we've got comment karma, so there's an incentive. We didn't have commenting back then, so there's an incentive to do good commenting. But it's, uh, the site's much bigger now and the top karma users have hundreds of thousands of karma points. And so now if you're a new user, to think that you'll ever top QGYH2, for instance, one of our top users, seems uh, absurd. Um, but fortunately, the system still seems to work. Uh, and I think that is pretty much based on the algorithm that Steve had created to let a lot of these good comments bubble up as they did well, to let those threads get more attention uh, and let the crappy ones fall down. And the same goes for the stories. And so even though those scores have now been relegated to you know the little score next to the submission or the comment, and then your user page, it's still, it's still something people care about. And uh, it's always a small minority of the site that's doing all this work, but whatever it takes to motivate them and to encourage them, you know, we, we want to do it. Mm -hmm.